I've had my Elgato Cam Link for a while now, I have it connected to my Canon 90D, and I use it for streaming and recording videos. However, I have run into a lot of issues with it, mostly in OBS. Basically, I'll load it up in OBS and I'll either just not get any output at all, or sometimes it'll play for a few minutes and it'll just stop. I've even had it play for a few hours before it just freezes up, and I had no idea what the problem was. Now, I have done a ton of research online to try and figure out what is wrong with mine. I've tried just about everything out there, some of which fix the problem, only for me to have another problem later on. So I'm going to try and document all of the problems that I found, and don't worry, your cam link probably isn't broken. So let's go through them one by one and hopefully fix your issue. If something does fix your problem, make sure to let us know in the comments what it was so we can help troubleshoot for other people. First, I think this will be the most common issue is if it's not already, make sure to plug it into a USB 3.0 or better port. This doesn't work at all with USB 2.0, it just can't handle that much data being transferred. Ideally, you want to use a 3.1 port, which is the more teal compared to the more blue USB 3.0 ports. Those can accept more data. And you want to make sure you have it plugged directly into your computer. You do not want to have any type of USB splitter, or USB hub. Even if it is powered and 3.0, it's going to be sharing all of that for that one USB port. So if you have five devices connected to a hub, which is connected to your computer, they're going to have to share that USB port. So if you're like me and have a lot of different computer peripherals, for example, I have a backup webcam, I've got my keyboard, my mouse, my stream deck, my microphone, I've got a ton of different things plugged in. What I do is I have a powered USB hub for all of those have that plugged in, and then have a separate USB plug on the computer just for the Elgato cam link. Now, I've also seen some people say that you don't want to have anything plugged in adjacent to the cam link for best results, and this is because your computer might share the resources a little bit with the USB plugged in next to it, but I don't really know exactly how much truth there is to it. It might depend on your system. I also saw someone recommend getting a powered USB hub just for your cam link. Now, I don't know if that would be any better than just plugging it into your computer. It doesn't makes sense that it would, but if you have one, it might be worth a shot to try. I wouldn't recommend going out and buying one for that because I don't think it would be any better than just plugging it in directly. If you are running low on ports though, a good idea might be to get an extra PCIe card with USB 3.1 ports if you have the extra slot available on your computer. They only run for like 20 to 30 bucks or so, depending on which one you get. So that might be a good idea just to have some extra USB slots. Now, if you've tried all the different ports, but you still think it's a USB bandwidth issue, what you could try is with the 4K Capture Utility Software by Elgato, lowering the resolution to something like 1280 by 720, maybe 30 frames per second instead of 4K 30 or 1080 60. Doing that would probably tell you if it's a bandwidth issue or not. If you lower the resolution and you still aren't seeing any picture, it's probably not a bandwidth issue. Another potential fix is to change the USB transfer mode. So you can do this using the 4K Capture Utility software, which you can download from the Elgato website. Now with the software open, hold down the control key and click the gear in the top right corner. This will open up your preferences and then select device and change the USB transfer mode from automatic to isochronous, something like that. <laughs> I'm not super familiar with what that changes. And even on the Elgato site, they say it could potentially cause other new issues. But again, it's worth a try. Now, the first time I tried this, even after pressing control and hitting the settings, I wasn't able to change the USB transfer mode, but I might have just been on an older version of the software. Now, those are two of the biggest issues. But of course, if you haven't tried this already, make sure to unplug it, turn off your computer, restart, do the classic just troubleshooting steps. Now, I found mine was running a little hot because I had it right behind my computer. So there is the potential for overheating. So make sure it's away from where your computer's outputting heat. And that's just a general good practice. It might not be your issue, but you just don't want it running hot in general. Now, another problem I found was conflicting softwares. Now, this shouldn't be an issue in 2022, but apparently it still is. Uh, I found reports that if you are running Adobe XD, if you open that up, it causes the cam link to just stop working. So there's the potential that you could have a software that is causing it to not work. Now, it's pretty unlikely that this is your issue, but people have had problems in the past with it. So try uninstalling any programs that maybe you don't use anymore. Close out of softwares that probably shouldn't be running at the time and see if that has any changes on it. Now, I didn't try this, but you could try booting in safe mode and seeing if it works there. Then, you know, some other software is causing some type of issue. It could help troubleshoot a little bit. Now, on Windows, you can go to your camera privacy settings and seeing if there are any softwares that have been accessing your camera without you realizing it. So make sure to check that as well. 
There also is an issue with PCIe 4.0 motherboards. Some newer motherboards run PCIe 4.0, which has higher transfer speeds than Gen 3. Now they should be backwards compatible without any issues, but there were some problems reported with transfer speeds with the B550 and X570 motherboards. There seemed to have been a BIOS update that fixed these transfer speeds, but if you have one of these motherboards and you upgraded it to the latest version and it still is having issues, you may want to try downgrading to PCIe Gen 3 from Gen 4. Now you can do that in the motherboards BIOS, but make sure you know what you're doing before you start messing around with that. And these motherboards only came out a couple years ago, so there's not too many of them out there, so this probably won't be your issue. Now, another problem could be the cables themselves. Now, I have a mini HDMI to HDMI from my camera, the HDMI to HDMI, and then that to the cam link, the cam link to USB, USB to the computer. So I have a bunch of cables running from my camera, which has a lot of room for error. I actually found out the HDMI to HDMI cable that I was using was something like HDMI 1.3, which is like a 16-year-old technology. <laughs> now, in theory, it should still be able to transfer that amount of data, but having something like HDMI 2.0 or better is probably just gonna have an easier time. So if you suspect it could be the cables, try swapping them out with other HDMI cables you have, maybe test it with something else, see if it works, because you could have a very old HDMI cable or the cable could just be bad in general. Also, just try and limit the amount of HDMI cables you have going around in general. I got a longer mini HDMI to HDMI, so I cut out one of the cables in the process. You could also find out if it's some type of driver issue. Now, these are UVC, meaning you plug them into your computer and they should be good to go, but I had an issue with mine. So to check if you have a problem, go to your device manager, go to the sound video and game controllers panel, and click on the cam link 4K. Right click and go to properties, and then go to events. If you have the error device USB something 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 was not migrated due to partial or ambiguous match, then that means there is some issue. Now I don't know exactly what that issue is, but what fixed it for me was using the system file checker on Windows. Basically, run the command prompt by typing cmd in the Windows search, right click and run as administrator, and then type in sfc slash scan now. This will take a few minutes, and it found a few errors for me. I then uninstalled the Camlink 4K just to be safe from the device manager, and then I restarted my computer. And then I never saw that error again. I don't know if it was fixed from uninstalling it or doing the scan now, I can't really be sure, but I haven't seen the error since, so. Now after doing all of those things, I still had issues. I would launch OBS and there would just be nothing. Now sometimes I could unplug the cam link, plug it back in, deactivate it and reactivate it in OBS until something started working, but I found a better solution to that. I would close out OBS, open up just the default camera app on Windows, and then it would show up right away with no problems. So then I would close out that and then open up OBS and then it would appear. Now at first I thought this was some issue with the cam link in OBS, but I think I figured out what was wrong. Basically, I had an instance of the cam link in one of my scenes, and it was a scene that I did not use anymore. But every time I would open up OBS, it would use that instance of the cam link and then wouldn't let me use it in any other instance. So anytime I tried to add a new source, it just wouldn't work, but that's because it was open on a different scene. And since I never really opened up my old scenes, I had no idea that that was causing the issue. So make sure you only have the one source added, remove all other unwanted sources, and hopefully that will fix your issue. It did for me at least. Now, if you're still having problems after all of this, it may be an issue with your camera or with the cam link itself, but hopefully after all of those things I have gone over, one of them was able to fix your problems. If not, try with a different computer, try with a different camera, if those are options. I know those won't be options to everybody, but try those at the very least. If you go through all that and you still have problems, you probably have an issue with your cam link. So I would contact Elgato at that point and see if anything can be done. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this fixed your issues. If one of them did, let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if it helped you out and subscribe for more videos like these in the future. Thank you again for watching. Peace.